Hi Fudgies, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week I'm using some fun new containers, I'm sharing hot lunch ideas, and some interesting combinations. If you're new to this channel, I invite you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Now let's get started. I'm kicking things off with lunch idea number one. And for this lunch, I'm bringing out some different lunch boxes. This one is really neat because it's square with four compartments. And if you're curious, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the fruit today. I'm adding a mandarin orange. I've already peeled it, and I'm gonna try to arrange it like a flower. So once I found out all of the little orange pieces, I'm gonna place a raspberry in the center. Next, I'm going to add some lightly salted edamame. This is still in the pod, so the kids have to break it open. I know Lily will love it. She's a huge fan. And I do want to take a picture for the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group. If you haven't joined already, you totally should. It's a really fun community where you can share your fun lunch creations or ask any lunch-related questions you might have. Next, I'm adding in a few cubes of cheese, and this is actually a Colby Jack cheese. And then of course, I love to throw in lots of fun food picks. Today, I'm using pandas. And then in this last section, I'm going to add a handful of pretzels. For a special treat today, I'm also adding one fortune cookie. And then last but not least, I have the main dish in the thermos. I'm adding some vegetable fried rice and some mandarin orange chicken. I get both of these at Trader Joe's. They come fully cooked and all I have to do is heat them up. So that is everything in the lunch today. This is definitely an Asian inspired lunch and I'm pretty sure they're going to love it. So right now I have Lily, Jackson, and Mackenzie with me. Say hi. Hi. But Miss Lily has hiccups. Yeah. Yeah, so it might be hard for her to answer, but I'd like you guys to tell me what your favorite part was from today's lunch. I really like the edamame. Mm-hmm. I like the, the chicken and rice. Yeah, what about you, Lily? I like the fortune cookie, the edamame, and the cutie flower, and also the pretzels. <laughs> and also the pretzels. I have hiccups. So how long do you think you'll have those hiccups? Um, probably like, um, Five days. Five days? Guys, let us know in the comments down below if you have a remedy for hiccups because I do not want her to have them for five days. That would be awful. Next up is lunch idea number two. For this lunch, I'm kind of going with an Indian food theme. I love Indian food and the kids really like it as long as it's not too spicy. So I'm gonna start by adding some garlic naan bread. I went ahead and cut it up so it would fit better in my lunch box. Next, I'm adding in the fruit, which is just some diced up mango. This mango is smelling so good. Next, I'm adding the super delicious treat of the day. These are vegan oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. I get these at Trader Joe's, and they are seriously good. Even if you're not vegan, you will like these. But unfortunately, they're a little bit big for my lunch box, so I'm gonna go ahead and break them in half just so I can get them in there. Next, I'm gonna throw in some cucumber, but I wanted to try to make a cucumber rose for today's lunch. I recently saw this idea on a YouTube video and I've been wanting to try it. So I'm gonna take my cucumber and with my mandolin slicer, I'm going to slice them very, very thin. And then I'm going to stack them up in a line. And then as tightly as I can, I'm going to roll up the whole thing. Now I have to say this kind of worked. It definitely wasn't as easy as they made it look on the YouTube video. It kind of wanted to fall apart. And by adding it to our lunchbox, it's definitely gonna kind of keep it in that shape. And then just for fun, I'm gonna stick one black olive down in the center of our flour. Now to our separate container, I am gonna add one more snack. These are baked crunchy apple chips. All of my kids love these, especially Lily. She's a huge fan. So I'm just gonna get a handful of these in the container and then move on to the main course. To my thermoses today, I'm going to add some of these Indian Madras lentils. They are so good. I get these pouches at Costco. They're quick and easy and they're not too spicy. And these are also gluten-free and vegetarian. I'm gonna heat these up in the microwave and I'm also going to heat up some leftover jasmine rice. So in goes my rice followed by the lentils. I'm gonna get my lid on there very quickly so it can stay nice and hot. And that's it, that's everything in today's lunch. 
after I'll show you what they ate. Okay guys, it looks like today's lunch was a huge success. The thermoses are completely empty, even Lily's, which is amazing. I really like the lentils and rice. <laughs> I really like them too, that was the best. I think the cookie was the best part. Those cookies are super good. I could go for one right now, except they're all gone, so I can't. Moving on to lunch idea number three. Today's lunch is gonna be super fun and colorful, and it's inspired by these cookie cutters. Now, I found these at Michael's. I think they are super cute. This three pack comes with a castle, a dragon, and a fairy. I really think that cookie cutters are an easy way to make sandwiches seem a lot more fun. Mackenzie's going to get the fairy, Lily's going to get the castle, and for Jackson, the dragon. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a poll right here for you guys to take because I'd like to know how many of you can still take peanut butter to school. So I'm going to get these sandwiches into our box. I've already added some really cute napkins and cupcake liners. I usually find these items at the Dollar Tree and at Party City. They are such an easy and inexpensive way to make the lunch boxes look a lot more fun. Now moving on to their fruit, I'm going to go ahead and add sort of a fruit salad here. I just have honeydew melon, cantaloupe, and a few blueberries. And then I'm going to add some new fun star picks. I found these in the dollar spot of Target. These are totally reusable, perfect for fruits and soft vegetables. Next, I'm adding some celery. I'm keeping the vegetables super easy today. Since we're having a PB&J, I think celery goes really well with that. Then in these separate containers, I'm going to add some hard boiled eggs. For Mackenzie, I'm gonna add one whole egg because she really likes them. And then for the other kids, just half an egg and a few cubes of cheese. And then to go along with that, I'm also adding a handful of these Teddy Grahams. These are the regular vanilla flavored ones. And then I have a very special drink today. This is the low fat chocolate milk. I think these lunches turned out so fun, but let's see what the kids think. Okay guys, what did you think of today's lunch? I can see that you guys ate most of it. Lily has a few pieces of celery left and so does Jackson. Kenzie ate all of her egg. Lily has a few bites left. I'm not surprised about that. But tell me, what was your favorite part? I liked everything, but I didn't really like the cantaloupe in the salad. What about you girls? I really like my fairy sandwich. What about you, Lily? What was your favorite? Um, I know I know it wasn't the egg. <laughs> you still have some left, don't you? Mm -hmm. But what did you like? I love the chocolate milk the most. The chocolate milk? <laughs> yeah. Oh, me too. We'll see you tomorrow. Next up is lunch idea number four. For today's lunch, I wanted to go with a really cute woodland creature theme. So I found all these decorations at Hobby Lobby. I think they are so cute. And to go along with that theme, I also found these adorable cookie cutters at Ikea. So in here, there's a fox and a bear, there's a hedgehog, a snail, a moose, and a squirrel. So today I went ahead and made a squirrel and a hedgehog, and these are just salami and cheese. For our vegetable today, I'm just gonna add a few of these crinkle cut carrots. And then for the fruit, I'm going to add some big chunks of pineapple. I'm pretty sure all the kids like pineapple. I'm gonna add my little woodland creature pick in there. And then in the separate container, I've also added some Greek yogurt. This is the vanilla flavored yogurt. I pretty much buy the vanilla like every time. It's definitely one of our favorites. I have a few raspberries left over from the other day, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the top of the yogurt. And then to go along with that, of course, I also have some granola. My kids love that combination of fruit, yogurt, and granola. I think it is so good as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of this combination. But today, I'm just using the chia, flax, and quinoa granola. If you've ever had an Aussie bite, that's what this granola tastes like. It's really good. And there you have it. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite woodland creature is. I definitely think that mine is the hedgehog. And afterwards, I will show you what they ate. Wow, you guys did so good. Um, It was super scrumptious. Super scrumptious? That's a good word. But I have to say, that Lily did not know it was a hedgehog. What did you think it was? A piece of grass. <laughs> a piece of grass. <laughs> what was your favorite part? I like the Cheetos. The Cheetos? What about you, Kenzie? 
I like the yogurt and granola. Mm-hmm. Next up, lunch idea number five. Now it might look like I'm making some sandwiches today, but these aren't just going to be any sandwiches. I'm actually gonna use this really fun cutter to make some deconstructed sandwich on a sticks. Does that make sense? I'm not sure, but keep watching and you'll see what I mean. So I'm gonna start with the basic turkey sandwich, just a little bit of mayo and some turkey. I'm gonna close those up and then using this cutter, I'm going to press down pretty hard and I'm gonna be left with lots of little squares of sandwiches. This is also a really good cutter if you have a toddler who needs smaller bites of food. Yay, it worked. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to. Next, I'm going to take a small bamboo skewer and I'm gonna start by adding a tomato followed by one little square of sandwich. Next, I'm going to add a cube of cheese. So all I'm gonna do is repeat that process and I think two is gonna be plenty for each child. Next, in this back corner, I'm going to add some cucumber. And then for today's fruit, I'm just gonna add in a kiwi. When I put in a whole kiwi, they don't tend to eat the whole thing. In my separate container, I am gonna add a special treat today. This is a really yummy trail mix. There's dried bananas in there, peanuts, raisins, coconut, and just a few M&Ms. To go along with our deconstructed sandwich, I'm also gonna add some chips. The kids have never tried these before, but I'm pretty sure that they'll love them. Just in case they need an extra snack today, I'm also gonna throw in some of these pumpkin spice fig bars. Okay guys, what did you think of the sandwich on a stick? I really liked it. Me too. I do see a few cucumbers left, and there's a little bit of the sandwich left as well. I see Jackson, you didn't really like your tomatoes. No. And Lily, you only ate one sandwich stick? Yeah, two was too much for me. Okay guys, tell me your favorite part. <laughs> the ruffles. ruffles. Oh, Jinx, <laughs> you both like the ruffles? Mm -hmm. My favorite was the trail mix. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Next week, we're having lunch with that Disney World. So stay tuned for that. See, See you next, next week. week. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag LunaLunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.